Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to show you guys how to test a two-wire crankshaft position sensor. If you're experiencing no start, intermittent no start, intermittent stalling, stalling while driving, maybe it's the crankshaft position sensor that are causing those issues. Before you test the crankshaft position sensor, make sure you conduct a quick inspection. Make sure you check the connection on the crankshaft position sensor. Make sure there are no broken wires or open wires. Make sure there's no boot up of dirt and oil on the uh, crankshaft position sensor because that can interfere with the signal. Make sure the uh, connection is not saturated in engine oil. Make sure the harmonic balancer is in good condition. Make sure this, this uh, rubber part over here is not worn. Make sure the teeth are in good condition. Make sure they're not broken. Make sure there's no dirt or rock stuck in the uh, teeth because that can also interfere with signal. If the inspection checked out fine, it is time to test the two-wire crankshaft position sensor. The two-wire crankshaft position sensor is a voltage generating uh, sensor. It's also magnetic as well and it's able to produce a small voltage where the computer will use it for timing. To test the crankshaft position sensor, all you need is a very basic multimeter tool and jumper wires. So I have the multimeter set to voltage and let's begin testing. So the uh, crankshaft position sensor is stationary and the harmonic balancer is going to be rotating. Every time the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley rotate, this uh, crankshaft position sensor is going to produce a small voltage. As you can see there, voltage is being produced. If you don't have a harmonic balancer and you don't want to remove it, you can also use a bolt, you can use a screwdriver and you can test it that way. Also, since the crankshaft position sensor is magnetic, I place the clamp on it and I just use something heavy on it like a water pump and you can test it that way. This will prevent the um, um, bolt sticking to the uh, crankshaft position sensor. As you can see there, a small voltage is being produced. If you don't see any voltage being produced, that means the uh, crankshaft position sensor is faulty and most likely it is shorted. Also, you want to make sure that connection is tight on the jumper wires and on the multimeter. You don't want to have any false readings. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.